I'm here watching Inside Edition and you will not believe what I've seen. A 19-year-old ate leftovers and had to get his leg cut off from the bacteria. A young man is covered in a grotesque rash. The flesh on his hands and feet is turning black. Necrosis has set in. He ate leftover chicken lo mein. Immediately after, immediately after eating the meal of leftover chicken and noodles, JC didn't feel well. He could feel his stomach shake and convulse. The student was rushed to the ER. His kidneys shut down. His heart and lungs failed. The diagnosis, meningococcal septicemia, a deadly bacterial infection. Most of his fingers and his legs below the knees had to be amputated to save his life. People don't realize sometimes how dangerous food can be. Peter DeLucia, Assistant Commissioner of Health in Westchester County, New York, says leftover food should be refrigerated as soon as possible. Two hours is what we always talk about, the two-hour rule. You don't want to leave food out at room temperature for more than two hours with either disposing it, reheating it, or putting it into the refrigerator. How long are leftovers safe in the fridge? Usually two to four days is, is kind of the rule of thumb. In a recent test, we found that by day three, the bacteria in egg salad had increased by 4,000%. Use your senses too. When you take that leftover out to eat it, if it's something that you don't have to reheat. Okay, you see that? They're talking about eggs. Eggs can kill you in crazy ways with all these different bacteria. Listen to this. Make sure they are heated to at least 165 degrees to kill any dangerous bacteria. As for what happened in Boston, doctors say it was made worse because a student wasn't fully vaccinated against meningitis as a child. Wow, vaccinations are important. You hear that?